thank you, Katie, and, and thank you also for me mentioning vote oh, yes on Measure C. Um, I wanted to um, just share with you very briefly the genesis of the symposium. Last year, as Marin recognized its very real threat of wildfire, several organizations, California Native Plant Society, Marin Conservation League, Be Audacious and others, began meeting to discuss how can we integrate environmental considerations into defensible space planning. We, we recognized the shift from vegetation being just fuel to vegetation providing habitat, supporting wildlife, sequestering carbon, etc. So these year-long meetings resulted in this symposium and the invitation of Marin County Fire Department and Fire Safe Marin in becoming in this group becoming more involved in compiling a guide for best practices. So a thrust of the, this work is what you're going to learn today, that your home garden can become an important part of Marin's defensible space goals, and that your home landscape can become more environmentally beneficial. Here's the vision through, as Katie mentioned, the nested scale of home neighborhood to entire towns and watersheds, we can connect fragmented pieces of the landscape into a whole and restore an interplay countywide of multiple ecological functions. We're forging a new land ethic. The need for ethics in our stewardship was known by Aldo Leopold and others, but perhaps forgotten. Now, more than ever, we need to apply this ethic. Now I want to give a special thank you today to Bonnie Morse of Be Audacious and Laura Lovett of CNPS, to Mike Swayze, to Larry Minicus, to Nancy Benjamin, to Dave Long, to Gary Morse. Um, did I leave anyone out that's been really instrumental in this? Nona. How could I leave Nona out? <laughs> Nona Dennis. And so these people in particular, we owe them some thanks for pulling this together. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> and now for our first speaker, Dan Glusenkamp, Executive Director of CMPS. Dan is going to clarify our role in this landscape revolution and call to action. Please join me in welcoming Dan.